Welcome to Zapier. Whether you're new or an expert in automation, you've come to the right place. Throughout this email series, we will help you learn Zapier in 14 days and take advantage of how our AI automation platform makes life easier for IT professionals. We'll explore five different use cases like streamlining incidents, creating chatbots that work for you, managing access for employees, and more. By the end, you'll be confidently creating multi-step automations that connect your favorite apps, save you time, and scale your automations. So let's jump in with our first use case, which is automating help desk tickets using Zapier. So our Zap will look like this. When a new form submission is created in Zapier interfaces, Zapier tables instantly creates a new record and a summarized message of the ticket is sent to the IT team with the power of AI. A pretty simple but powerful Zap. So let's get building. From the Zapier dashboard, click on Create and choose Interfaces. For this tutorial, we're going to build a form from scratch, but you can also build from an existing template, which is part of our Zapier templates library. Now that we're in the interface editor, let's choose the form option and start customizing our component. But first, it's going to ask us if we want to connect a table to this form. We'll do this in a later step. Our form starts with an email field, which we'll want to keep since we want to capture the user's email address, but we'll add more fields to this form, including name, date, team, and request. This new field will be for the user's name, and we'll make every field we create a requirement to fill out. We now have all of our fields created under the Content tab. Let's rename our form and click the interface link to see the live version. Our form looks great. Now that we created our interface form, we'll add our corresponding table to this automation from the Data tab. By adding the table through our interface form, the same fields will be added to our table. Now that we have our table created, let's send in a test form through interfaces and it will appear as a new record in our IT support table. Great, our form is submitted and it's now in our table as a new record. Pretty simple, right? If we want to take this automation to the next level, let's add a zap to this table. We'll click Automate Your Data and create a zap that runs when a record is created. This will take us into the zap editor to start building this automation. Let's test our table step so we bring in the test record from our interface form. Now we're going to take this automation up a notch and add two additional steps. These actions will happen when a new record is created in our table. The first one will be our AI step, which we'll build using ChatGPT. We'll choose Summarize Text as the action event and connect to our ChatGPT account. You can connect a new account from here and Zapier will walk you through those steps. Then, the next step is adding the text that we want to be summarized. For this field, we'll map our test record data to this field. So, we'll include the name, email, and team of the requester, plus the actual request they submitted. We'll keep the rest of the fields the same and continue to test our step. ChatGPT successfully analyzed the original request and provided a TLDR summary for the IT support team. Next, we're going to add our last action step. We'll use Gmail as the app for our action step. Our action will be send email since we want to notify our support team. And then we'll connect our Gmail account. The next step is to map the corresponding data from our table to the email. And now we move on to the required fields, the subject and body of our email. For the subject field, let's add in static and dynamic text so that it matches the information of each request that comes in. Now that we have our fields mapped and our email subject and body completed, Let's test this step and make sure that everything runs smoothly. And our test was successful. The email was sent to our email address with the subject and message we added. And that's it. Just click publish and you've got yourself a fully automated help desk workflow. Want to explore more automation templates like this one? Check out the Zapier templates library to find the perfect pre-built workflows for your team. No setup required. Look for automations that fit your workflow, the apps you use, and the Zapier tools you have. You'll find a pre-made template that you can start using right away. What if your tickets could sort themselves? Next up, we're going to create an automated triage system that sorts tickets and performs different actions based on the issue and automatically notify the right teams. I'll see you in the next video.